Hey guys, um, the last problem of the friction review, problem number four. So um, this one is pushing a 5,000 Newton boulder. We have our given coefficients of friction, 0.4 for the kinetic, 0.6 for the static. And we have three different questions to try and answer. So um, first one is we're just trying to compare the friction force to um, determine whether it's kinetic or static friction. So to do that, the first thing we should do is just determine each of those two forces. Um, so FFK equals mu K times the normal, and simultaneously FFS equals mu S times the normal. Mu K is 0.4. Our normal force is just going to be nothing more than 5,000 newtons. Um, 0.4 times 5,000 should be 2,000. Yep, 2,000. So 2,000 newtons is our kinetic friction force. Um, the static friction force, 0.6 times 5,000 is going to be 3,000 newtons. All right, so we're pushing horizontally. It's I'm, I'm assuming. It's initially at rest. It didn't say. Um, I should have been a little bit more specific on this one. But usually when that happens, we are going to figure out that it is um, initially at rest. And if it is, then our push is not enough to break the glue, since our applied force is less than 3,000, we have only static friction. And static friction then is if it's not moving we're pushing with 2500 that means that static friction is pushing back with 2500 then you have 5000 newtons for the weight and 5000 newtons for the normal force and we're done part A Friction force acting back, force of static friction, FFS equals the same as what you're pushing, 2,500 newtons. That's part A. All right, next thing, if you increase your push to 3,400 newtons, create a free body diagram and determine the acceleration of the boulder. So we had um, the static friction force, put that up here, static friction was 3,000 newtons. That's the maximum, and kinetic friction, 2,000 newtons. So we're pushing with 3,400. That means we've beaten static friction. It means we are in kinetic friction. So the only thing acting backwards is our kinetic friction force. We have an applied force of 3,400 newtons. We have a force of kinetic friction acting back of 2,000 newtons. Then we have our weight, 5,000 newtons, and our normal force, 5,000 newtons. Okay, so we have to figure out our acceleration. Well, our acceleration is based on Newton's second law. Our net force, the verticals cancel, so we only have 3,400 minus 2,000 which is 1400. That equals mass times acceleration. Our mass we can find because we know the weight. Mass is weight over 9.8. 5000 over 9.8 is 510.2. So divide um, well, 1400 newtons. So the mass, 510.2 times the acceleration is 1,400, which gives us an acceleration of 1,400 over 510, 2.74 meters per second squared. 2.74 meters per second squared. And as drawn, you can say to the right. All right, so free body diagram and acceleration. Perfect. 
Question C is a little different. We have a friend now sitting on the boulder, and the friction force increases to 2340. How much mass does your friend have? Well, I'm looking at FFK goes up to 2340. But I know that FFK is equal to mu K, that's the part C, times the normal force. And I know that the normal force relates to the weight. And I know that the boulder is, weighs 5,000, so whatever I get for the normal force has to be, uh, there has to be that little difference. So my 2340 equals 0.4 times the normal force, which tells me that my normal force equals 2340 over 0 0.4, or 5850. So my normal force is 5850, um, which means that I have two forces acting on that boulder. I have the weight of the boulder itself, the 5000, plus I have whatever my guy weighs, the FG or F applied from the guy. And all of that collectively has to be a normal force of 5850. So obviously, pretty simple math. It tells us that our man has a weight. The weight of the man is obviously 850 newtons. To get the mass, I just divide 850 by 9.8, which gives 86.73 kilograms. Oh, there we go. So he has 86 kilograms of mass. We found that from the extra friction force, which was due to the extra um, normal force from the fingers in they're locking a little bit deeper because they're pushed down in. Um, and we were able to solve for that, which is perfect. All right, hopefully that helps, and I will see you tomorrow or Thursday in class.